Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. Oh, we're. What if we have here? Um, Paradox. We've got a lot going on right now with some repairs and everything, so we'll send Paradox for a week. Uh, we're probably go not going to be able to get everything back in order by that time. All right, everything is fixed. He's back in two days. But, the one thing we really need to get our hands on is good old Atlas here. Oh, so, let's go for the repairs. And now, let's see, we need a lot of stuff here. Now let's take a look at what we have. We have another claw. That's great. Do we have another retractable blade though? That's what we're looking at. Retractable blade, retractable blade, retractable blade. Talons. So the heavy industrial already has the TSM involved in it. Now we also want to get the core 400 in here. Which does get our movement up a little bit, so we're moving 4-6. We do not have fire control, though. We do have piloting A and B. That will help us out. We can go with... Is it powered sensors? I believe it is powered sensors here. Now they help us out with bonus of sensor detection, increased sensor and sight range, probe counter, detect mines. These are all things you get out of uh, your active probe. Big help for that. I'm looking real quick to see if we have, and no, it doesn't look like we have and we don't have another retractable blade, unfortunately. And we also... Do we have an AMS? Uh, we have advanced. Yes, we do. Boom. Missile-wise. We have the th MML-5s. We've got the clan missiles. We also have Clan SRM. That's one and a half tons. Regular one is three. So that would be four and a half tons. Hmm. And the Clan 20 is five tons. Let's drop the Clan 20 in here. We're going to drop the Dead Fire and the Acid. We're actually going to drop one point of back armor right there. And then, let's see, Clan 10 is two and a half tons. Not going to work for us. Now, we don't have a supercharger, I don't think. No, we don't. Unfortunately, that would be something we really need to get our hands on. Now, what? Uh, ammo. Yes. LRM ammo. Typhon? Follow the leader, extended range, dead fire. And I think this will do it. Unfortunately, we do not have a lot of the stuff that we need to really make this better.
I'll take a quick look at the TSM. All right, TSM is straight heat activated. Six slots. Okay, this increases our maximum carry by two. So this would bring us up to 20, which would actually be fine. All right, let's drop the heavy industrial. Let's throw TSM on here. Now the heavy industrial works basically the same way. Oh, it just actually this just gives us the carry capacity. Oh, well, now if we were to throw uh, yeah, about that. Um, what was I? Uh, yes. Um, internals, armor. Clan Pharaoh, we actually run out of slots. We drop the patchwork, and then we get Angel ECM. Now we're a little bit overweight or over tonnage here. Do we have tier one patch patchwork? There we go. And that should give us most of the armor back. Yeah, we're going to take it up on the legs there, and then we're going to drop just a scooch here. So we're slotted up. Now, we are kind of over tonnage with the ammo here. actually going to drop the LK and we're going to bring another ton of AMS ammo because we're going to be overcharging this thing constantly and we want to have in fact the double bin is better so we go with the double bin of ammo cost us arm and leg but worth uh, yeah, everything's repaired. Come on. Give me a break here. But yeah, getting the, the core in and the Pharaoh, that's really where all of that money is going to. Seven days. Everyone else is looking good. Paradox will be back by then. Financial report will come in. And we'll be able to drop the Atlas on the battlefield once again. Oh, we're going to wait for it just because Atlas is fun. Get the financials in, and let's see how it looks with the uh, the command center. Now we got recovery battle. All of these dead missions. All right, let's take our two days and we will jump in on what we have. All right, we don't want that. I kind of want to do this one, but not going to happen. All right, we're going to go battle in urban against the Lothian League here. I'm going to take two of nine for 800,000. All right, the striker goes, Atlas comes. Now we're at 800 tons. Now that's big slide in the maxim onto the bench. Announcer, get lost. We bring back our girl Orchid and let us go. So I like the, I do like the Atlas a little bit better right now, with the exception of the lack of the supercharger. That's 
I am not keen on that. Definitely think we are missing out a lot there. I do like the higher the higher rated core, the extra mobility. I think the X if we can get the TSM online, rip hot seat cockpits, we're going to have a better mech here. And that, that's that's why hot seat cockpits are pretty much one of the pinnacles of melee mech equipment because it's TSM, you just flip a switch, it is on, and all of a sudden you have that one and a half time melee damage bonus. So we're rocking about, eh, what was it, about 350 just straight melee damage. All of a sudden we go from 350 to 525. And 525 pinpoint damage when you hit it, they know they've been nudged. One of the reasons why we were able to do so well in the Super Heavy mission was because our Atlas could punch so hard. All right. And on top of it, we get the 200 pinpoint of the snub nose peep, heavy, uh, the snub nose heavy Gauss to boot. All right, let's. Uh, uh, hello. There we go. Well, this is an interesting drop. Contact! Oh man, we are dropping like right on top of their heads. LTV-6 hover tanks. Oh. An Ifrit. I see you, buddy. That's a pick right there, folks. That is a pick. There we go. And there's an atlas back there. I'm not going to waste the missiles on this round when we don't have... Ooh, that was a nice solid hit. But I'm waiting right there for... Uh, sensors to have a better hit chance. And we are going to overload the AMS here. Nice structure open on the e -freed. Falcon is going to reserve, though. He's not really the guy to shoot anybody out of the air. Shit, on the other hand. Has a phenomenal hit chance here. Ooh, crits on the daisy cutters. And we're going to reserve this. Because we've got a lot of firepower sitting right there. Mustang, back it up and take the Ifrit down. No heavy rack. Not quite enough. Alright, let's reserve that. Then turn 20.
Fair miss. All right, Majestic. Not much of a hit chance there on the melee. We only, hmm, not much of a hit chance here either. Ajax. Ajax will also wait. Now let's reserve that. Night Star. I see you, buddy. Let's see, Falcon. Yeah, you're on the mortars. Let's reserve this again. I think what we have right now, um, just too much against the Efreet. And we're just going to wait for these tanks to move out of the way. Turn 18, that's one of them, this one here. We've got 16, 18, and 17. And they are all going to stay, it looks like, with a nice close... Uh, Nice close contact. Turn 17. Who next? Not unexpected. I'm still waiting on the Atlas as well. Turn 16. That's the Atlas. Seems like a fairly standard one as well. Yeah, this is not going to be Typhon here. Uh, and it's not going to be hot loaded. It's going to be LK. And they're all going to the top. And we are going to punch this thing right in the butt. Goodbye, tank. Next one, is it the LTV here or is it the Atlas here? Who up first? That would be the LTV. Oh, where do you want to move? Question is, is he going to move farther? Yes, he is. All right, T-Bone. All right, let's move up and take out the Efreet. Cluster. No MRMs. There we go. All right, we'll take that. 
definitely take that. That's a nice one, too. Daisy Cutter Bombs, Heavy MRM with Apollo. Oof. That's clean. You dirty rat. How dare you drop fast cam over here, you little scumbag. What do we have against him? Only the Hydras and the Inferno Rockets, it looks like. All right, let's go for the Marksman as well. Just get a little bit of Inferno down there on the ground. All right, Majestic. Go for a kick. Got him. <laughs> so, um, by the way, my friend, that is a heavy gas in your face. All right, Chaparral say landmines. Yeah, that kind of works. Let's go. Yeah, we got him with the splash. Thirteen percent there, twenty eight percent on the arrows there, thirty. Yeah. I think we're gonna go standard here just because the hit chance is not great anyway. And we'll flip the arrow at him. I like the stability damage here. And Eck. Spin it to win it. Let's see if we can take down this hover tank. Structure open, but not at quite as much as I would have liked to have seen. I know we're seeing plenty in the back. Oh, it's an Evan Jaguar, not uh, not a Night Star. Mjolnir, pirate bushwhacker. Oh, it's an ass hat. Yeah, um, I'll give you ass hat. Here you go. Yeah, I got a lock on your ass hat. Nice stability damage there. All right, it looks like this is our best bet here, as well as turning around and slapping the hover tank in the face. Goodbye. The nice thing is every miss with the PPC gets rid of a whole bunch of landmines. All right, let's get out of here. Shade. My dude. There we go. Love the stability of damage there. Uh, Kraken, where are you? 
you are here and you're not getting anywhere. Majestic, on the other hand, we want to go passive on the angel here. I love that sprint for four. Very nice. That mobility is much better now. Now the million dollar question is, can we get the Seth up close enough to do something gnarly against the Atlas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big guys, big guys. All right. So we've got a pirate puma, a honey badger. Uh, that's a looks like a Talos variant. Ah, uh, so the peg leg has hellstorm and a grenade launcher. All right, let's get through here. All right, Mr. Eck. I think Swarm can be good here. The peg leg's pretty close to him. So we get the benefit of essentially double damage there, which I like. And the Atlas is almost knocked down. I don't know that we have another... That kind of sucked. Not unexpected, though. Mjolnir is just a nasty piece of work. That nice Gauss rifle on that arm. Good stuff. And we want indirect here. Hey, buddy! There we go. So it's a classified asset. All right. Private asset? I guess it's better than a public one. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we got the uh, that pollen's coming in real good. Got the haven't quite built up the resistance to all of it yet. The honey badger, what do you have? We don't see it. Now, what can we get here? Inferno rockets, X pulse. Yeah, let's go for all of it. Let's go for... Let's go for the undamaged leg here. Now, I'm thinking the undamaged leg because, number one, we're going to get Splash. It's going to hit the damaged leg. But that gives us a good chance to preserve everything else that could be in the mech. A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat damage on the peg leg as well now that he's going to get his butt up. Where are you going, asshat? <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying that a little too much. Good shot! Alright, Falcon. Let's go direct here. And we're going to go guided. 
good damage. Alright, Paradox. I want the Atlas here. Alright, Kraken. Not getting into range yet. T-bone as well. Shade, on the other hand, gets his lovely indirect fire. Is it the Atlas? Yeah, it's the Atlas, because we are on the wrong side of... What the hell did that have? Plasma! <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. <laughs> Alright. Eck. Eck, give me splash, Eck. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, I see no reason to run through mines right now. I do see a good reason to drop Swarm on the Atlas. Nice! Extra heat? The only problem with the Atlas right now is I do believe we are way over cooling. Let's, let's just go Typhon here. Ooh, very nice. And this is definitely worth it. Let's go Warlord here. Hello! Goodbye, Torso. Another injury. And another injury. Oh, he's got one left. Anyway, you look at it. He ain't feeling good. What are you rocking over here, buddy? Pirate Bushwhacker, 44 missiles. It looked like four launchers. 11? So we got a 1M Orion. Here comes the Honey Badger. Also playing with heat. Oh, he's got Inferno Rockets coming out of his orifices like crazy. And here come the mines. Pirate Puma with a couple of mine dispensers there. And Pirate ATMs, Tagger. Some not bad stuff. The Hoppa Hoppin'. Missing the Gauss, fortunately. Let's see.
Let's drop a couple of bombs here. SRMs as well. Let's go! Have some heat, buddy. Nice. Tagged up his uh, proto heat sink kit. That's not going to help him too much. All right, Atlas. What have you got? Are you? Do you have anything? Missing the devil's PP or the devil's AC twenty. That's a nice hit chance here. Take him in the side. And it's the right side, too. We get a little splash on that leg. He's on the ground, and he's done. Goodbye. That should be the last pilot injury to get rid of him. Yep, you're gone. I think our move here is, yep, not that one. We need that one so that we can line up the Puma. Now it looks like we're jammed on the regular AMS here. All right, let's confirm that. Well, we really, really nailed that building. Super good. It's a nice hit on the Honey Badger there, but I believe I want to go for the Puma instead. We are going to slug this one because I definitely want to try to crack this armor open. And also, we have our boys in the back. Hmm. No good hit chance on the rack, so we're going to let that stick. And we will shoot the Talos. Alright. We want acid here, 110%. Let's go! Good damage. All right, Falcon. That is one heck of a minefield. 43 mines exploding. That is a lot of damage there. But that's a Puma off the board. Good. All right, unfortunately, we're only indirect with Orchid here. And let's get some Swarm on here, see if we can't take out this building. Looks like no, though. Problem here is I would really prefer not to move through the mines. We are going to Vigilance this. Let's push up here, try to cut their line of sight a little bit. I think EMP is a good choice here. Because I want to mess with his targeting as well as his heat. There we go. Very nice. And this should be a good follow-up for the Seth as well. We've got him unstable. Have, <laughs> have some bombs. Have some Inferno. 
my dude. Feel the burn. Well, I shut him down. <laughs> How do you feel now, buddy? That's the rotary peripheral. Rotary Periphery Rifle. Yeah, say that one ten times fast. How's Deadfire look? Looks good enough to me. Now, the Gauss is in his right arm? No, it's the left arm. It's the one that's already beat up. Nice structure exposed. And here comes the rockets. More coming in from the Cauldron Born. Definitely not a lot, though. That was a big hit. I think we need Artemis here. I really wish I could get a real direct line of sight here. We will go this way. Minimizes the minefield. And we've got fantastic hit chance here. And we're going to just throw a little bit of EMP. The last of it just to kind of mess with him. Just that little extra touch. Hardened Pharaoh. Not bad. All right, need a hog. Need hog says Mjolnir. Need hog says both lasers, thank you very much. All right, we can push here. Nice. He's got the cover from the destroyed building right now, which is really what's helping him out. That's a push. This is not going to be Hydra. It's going to be Typhon against the Honey Badger. Let's go. Goodbye. Shade can do work here. We're going to go double cluster for the grits. There we go. And there's the Mjolnir off the board. So we've only got three more to take out. Push it up. Is it the Orion? Is it the Cauldron? It's definitely the Orion, all on hit chance here. And we're going to go Vigilance here for the extra defense. Let's go. T-Bone cannot get completely up with unobstructed line of sight. But still, very solid.
definitely like the idea of going Typhon here. Now, we don't have enough to get his heat up in order to activate TSM, and that's going to be a problem. And there goes that. One thing we may want to look at is bringing more um, bring heavy energy weapons to the Atlas in order to justify bringing up his heat. Which one did we lose? We lost... Uh, it was the Seth we lost. All right, let's push it. Mortars to the front. Standard ammo. More boom. As good, ooh, that really is the hit chance right here. Let's go. Goodbye. Since we have to move the distance, let's go for the back strike against the Bushwhacker. Flame breath, huh? Okay. All right, Kraken, where are you, my friend? You are all the way in the back, and you're getting nowhere. 22. Let's see if the Cauldron Born brings himself into line of sight here. Nice shots. I got to give you that much. Best part is I got more to give you. In fact, I like a sensor log here, and then we're gonna bring the typhon on your face. There we go. Bring it. Now we hit our buddy. Alright, Bushwhacker, what is your damage, buddy? Where do you go? All the rockets against the Nidhogg. No hit chance either either spot. All right, let's go. Fair. Unfortunately, we're trying to get through a choke point here, and what we're not getting is good line of sight. I want to vigilance this for the higher initiative next turn. Now this is what I am talking about right here. All Artemis. 
fantastic hit chance. Goodbye. All right, Shade. Can you actually get down here? No, you can't. Oh. The only way down is here. We're going to run back through the mines, it looks like. Let's go! Can we get back into his back again? We can! Hey, buddy! Alright, we go this way. Back this way. You're done. I mean, there's no real reason to actually move here. Let's go with the swarm. Splash damage is splash damage and gives us a better chance to just apply damage. Alright, it's what we got, it's what we got. Yeah, at least the structure is exposed. That's probably his leg. And it's going to be the same thing with Ek. Let's turn on Enhanced Imaging. Looking for those critical numbers. Just a little bit. A little bit. And you're not going anywhere. Oh, give it a rest. Where are you going to go? I know you're on fire. Thank you for coming back where I wanted to see you. How about with the Gauss? Do we have a hit chance here? No. Let's try it anyway. I mean, we might get lucky. 12%. <laughs> nope. We weren't lucky and neither was the building. But now we have direct line of sight. <laughs> we still have 12.5%. Let's go. Got him that time. <laughs> Suck it. All right, let's see what's on the table. They, they look like a bunch of interesting things. Um, acid ammos. Definitely Inferno ammos. There could have been some interesting equipment on the ass hat as well. Maybe some melee equipment, please? Can I ask? All right, we make... 180,000. That's good. Let's see. Two parts of the ass hat. All the hover tank parts in the world. Alright. The Devil's AC-20. That's uh, 66 damage plus 6 heat. Recoil of 6. Damage variance. Plus 66% critical hit chance. You see where this is all going? The accuracy in the evasion pips ignored is actually pretty good. But it is much lower damage than your standard 
Ooh, Mark II AMS. Yes, please. Grenade launchers, Gauss rifle, heavy armor, M30, Hellstorm. Mine launcher, Plasma. Let's see, alternate fire modes. Alternate fire does damage when it jams. Recoil of two. Weapon gains 10% increased range damage and heat damage and heat generated for every 10 heat. So the hotter you get, that's interesting when it's firing in boiling mode. And warning mode. It, that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, PPZ, uh, pirate PPC, extra crits, damage variance, minus two accuracy, two recoil. They're just flat out not good. AR-24s, these are actually really nice early on. Once you get the better things down the road, they tend to fall off a little bit. Gunnery B, double heat sink, kit, patchwork, reactive plating, ah, supercharger, Apollo heavy MRM, hyd half hydra, mortar flare, thermo bolts, only one part of the Efreet. I mean, we have one. We're going to hope for that randomly. We don't get it. We get we get a hover tank. We get part of the Orion. Inferno rockets can go. Control standard. Standard fusion engine. But the supercharger, great to have. We really needed that. AMS Mark II, actually better than the advanced AMS that we have on the Atlas already. Supercharger gives us, what is it, plus 5% engine factor weight change. So that's going to be cl a close turnover. And the Mark II is only one ton, one slot. So we actually get the extra slot back that we had to use for the advanced AMS. But I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, and sub it. Smash that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified every single time a video goes live, and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.